my whole masculinity was challenged. Best relationship ever. Was it love at first sight? Like, it's crazy. Let's keep it casual. Hi, hey guys. everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the first video on Clara and Habi channel. In this video, we're gonna answer some of your questions, uh, juicy questions that we got on Instagram. And this video is about the story. The story you probably thought you love. Uh, we already talked about how we met in the latest video on my channel. So this is like part two, which will go more into details. Spicy. Juicy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. How old am I and where am I from? He's 23, turning 24 in like a month and a half. So he's born 2002. Oh, wait. He's born in 2000. So actually, he's younger than me. I was born 1998. So I'm um, two years older. Actually, just a year and a half older, okay? And he's from the Philippines. Mm. I'm from Vietnam. We both international students. Uh, I graduated, I actually, I graduated, yeah. so I'm not an international student anymore. I'm still in school. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we both came from Southeast Asia, mm. and we met here, and it's been crazy. Huh. Hey, bestie. Was it love at first sight? I think it was for you. <laughs> for me, us. Uh, because the first time we met each other was in March of 2023 and at the time I was in a different relationship so kept my distance I could say that I definitely felt tension tension ten tension between us but uh, like I we didn't talk we did not talk oh yeah we just look at each other and there's like tension six months go by and we meet again in September mm -hmm. where Clara is now single and I'm single was it love at first sight then? I see. I. Oh, now we gotta go? I was at the club that night and um, I and my girlfriends were out on the patio. My friends told me that, oh, remember Javi, the guys that hang out with us in March? He's here, to, like, he's here at the club tonight. What? And I was like, I think at that moment, at that moment, I... Uh, Butterflies. <laughs> no. Uh, uh, <laughs> at that moment, I'm like, okay, target lock. Same. Uh, I wouldn't say it was love love at yeah, first sight, yeah. but definitely like... Yeah, spark. like we found, like we both find each other attractive. We both single at the time, so... Yeah, why not? Who confessed first? What do you think? Um, chow. Anyway, so... Yeah, I totally confessed first. <laughs> okay, we... Just look at this. We thought this was gonna be a very casual thing. Yeah. Like, we just met at the club. Like, you know, it's like going on dates. Mm -hmm. Stuff like that. Mm-hmm. 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 Right, yes. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yes. But then the more similarities we started to find, I think I started to get this feeling of like, wow, I've never met anyone just like as ambitious, smart, funny. Talented, brilliant, incredible, amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never the same, totally unique, completely not ever been done before. And so I just felt it. And I asked her to be my girlfriend. Like a month <laughs> Wait, whoa, slow down. <laughs> it was we'll slow down. down. A month and in of, uh, dating, yeah. like going on dates. Uh, Which was actually the first time I asked anyone to like be my girlfriend. Mm. And it was the first time that I heard, let's keep it casual. What do you mean? <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? And I was like, yo, that's crazy. My whole masculinity was challenged. <laughs> When he asked me, I wasn't ready. Excuse me? Maybe like four weeks later, I, uh, 
I fell in oh. love. Like, he's literally the best person, you know, in the world. Ew, this is so cringe. Guilty. Honestly, after my last relationship, I made a promise to myself that I will only get into relationship with someone that I'm gonna marry, that I'm like sure, 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 sure. So the next person that I will be in relationship with has to be the one. That's right! And for us at the time, there was so much uncertainty. Oof. <laughs> Lots of uncertainty. It was honestly like a big leap for me um, into the unknown. But I just can't deny the feeling that I have for him and the, the love between us, you know, and how perfect this is. Hmm. Sorry. How long have we been dating? Let's let let's test. Four months, seven days. Damn. Ten hours. <laughs> he knows. Mm -hmm. He knows. He knows. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's been longer. Yeah. We basically see each other every day. And like, we are both the types of people that need personal space. But then we are so similar yeah. in just like how we think, the topics we're interested in, just like the vibes. In my past relationship, I never met my partner like every day. If I spend too much time with them, I just feel like, oh, you're too much. Like, uh, leave me alone. But with Javi, he is just so easy to be with. Every day we yeah. just find out like, new things, uncanny yeah, things, uncanny real. similarities between us. Yes! I have no idea why people say that it's boring to date someone who's similar to you because this is literally the best relationship I've ever been in. The best relationship ever, like period. And not a period. And it's not boring at all because every day it's like, oh my god, you like that thing too? Thing about each other physically. Mm. Mm. Eyes. What do you like about my eyes? I can just stare at them. And they're also like the biggest size of my eyes. <laughs> Literally! <laughs> my eyes are double the size of his eyes. Right? At the beginning, it was his bicep. <laughs> Subscribe for more biceps! <laughs> oh my god! As I get to know him more, his eyes, his eyes are just the best. I love how horizontal they are. Whenever she compliments me, she gives the most objective comments. Yeah! She was like, wow, you have such a good face, horizontal eyes, flat chin, nice. And I feel so sexy afterwards. Damn. What are the things that connect you the most? Connect with you the most? Or make you feel connected with me the most? So the first time I went to your place, I remember I was looking for a glass to drink water and so I'm opening the cupboard and instead of glasses, I just find a whole closet of books. So, my eyes are correct! And my jaw dropped. And that's because I've never met anyone that reads books mm. as much as I do. I was like, oh, she reads books, she must be smart. That's crazy. I think what connect me to you the most at the beginning was his emotional intelligence. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Because honestly at the time, I was still deep in healing from my past relationship. And he was just there listening to me. And I don't know, he just instantly makes me feel so safe oh. and made me feel so comfortable. And he's just like, he just listened. Slay! And so, just I feel like instantly my soul just feel oh, I can tell this person like my stories, and he would not judge. He would just empathize and understand. Like his emotional intelligence is just top, top, top notch. 
Period. Not even coming back to the books thing. I read a lot about emotional intelligence, insecurity, masculinity. I don't know, to find someone that could really appreciate it and just notice and see it really meant something. It was as if like, I made real progress and that was so cool. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So that's a little bit about us. There is like so much more. There's so much more. <laughs> I think this is like 2%. Yeah. And, like... <laughs> and let us know like if you want to hear more, what else do you want to know because we we literally like open books. We'll see you in our next video. Uh, leave a comment, like I said, what you want to see from us. And we love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.